All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while. I haven't posted all week. I was busy getting all of your orders out. I still have a couple orders to get out on um, Monday. Today is Saturday. This video should go up tomorrow, Sunday. Um, and then I'm filming like two other videos. I was getting the 125 dialed in. You should see that video tomorrow on Monday. But today's video topic, as all of you have eagerly been waiting for, as myself, we got a fresh pipe for this thing. This big missile, silent, literally moped, pipe sounding 450L um, is finally going away. So we'll get this thing ripped off. Um, we gotta put it on the stand, it makes it a little bit easier. She's a big girl to get on the stand, but uh, yeah. So we'll get that dialed in. Come over here, I'll show you a little run over on the pipe. So this system's for the 450X, but uh, it'll fit the 450L. So if anybody out there is trying to get this for their 450L, it will fit. All you have to do is find the 450X pipe and uh, order that one. So it looks like we got the header right here. We got the mid pipe, I believe. And we have like the spark arrestor and stuff in here. Shamira RS4 exhaust. We'll get all the plastic off. And I'll do a quick sound test stock to this. And uh, we'll definitely notice a huge difference. That's for sure. Yeah, so included right here, like I said, was the spark arrestor, which I'm probably not going to put in there. All the Yoshimura springs and stuff and spring puller they give you. For anything, we'll get the bike started up. I'm not going to let it run for too long. I don't want it to get too hot. Give you a couple revs. Really doesn't sound like anything. You hear more motor noise than anything. Alright. It's a good enough example. You guys get it? It's not much going on. Here's a better look at the pipe. All shiny and fresh. I'll have to get this initial taken off. Yeah, I'm doing a couple heat cycles. Look at this. When I say missile, look at how big that thing is. That probably weighs 10 pounds at least. What's the difference from Yoshi to the stock as far as sizing? If that's a good reference right here. This thing is huge. Just get one of those new Acrobat hundreds. Ooh. Get a newer. Oh! Thought it was falling. This thing is so heavy. Probably at least weighs 10 pounds, I'm not kidding. Minimum 10 pounds. I was considering getting the torch and heating this up prior to make it super blue, but for the first ride, I just want to really hear it. I'm gonna probably take it off at a later point, maybe blew it up a lot. We'll see how it blues up on just the heat normal. But I have gloves on so I don't leave fingerprints and stuff on the pipe. But we'll get it all loosely fitted up first. And then we'll go from there. Get the little mid pipe put on. Get the springs pulled on. You know, I probably should have done that first. We'll give you a one second start up with just the header. Sounds like a Harley. There's for all the people, like 1% that wanted to hear that. And for the last final piece. So if you're making my mistake, I gotta take it back off. Don't use the stock hardware. You use the spacer that comes with the pipe to space it out. Otherwise, when uh, you go and jump, the pipe's gonna hit the tire, and then uh, you're gonna mess up your nice Yoshimura pipe. So make sure you put the spacer in there. If you want the tire rub look, go for it. But I personally do not. Sir, little. All right, here's the moment of truth. Everything's good to go on the pipe except one spring on the front. I just really don't have the patience. I want to hear right now, so I'll hear I gotta take it off to get the spring on there. If you're new here and you want to see more 450L videos, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll have a ton of videos on this thing. I have two tuners to kind of see the difference for after the first ride on the pipe. Along with that, if you're stoked for the 450L, I have some more bark. Smash the thumbs up button. It helps me out a lot. And uh, I'll quit talking. Start this thing up. Move it on the with the spark arrestor.
thing is so much better. Sounds like the race bike now, kinda. Alright, we'll get the side panel on and then we'll go for a first ride. We'll get the GoPro, we'll get some third person shots and how it sounds. Justin's already getting. Alright, we'll get my first first reaction. First ride on this thing. See how it is before the tuner. Just pipe on there compared to stock. I love this thing so much more now. Before it was like, eh, now it's like it's finally sick, making it my own. Justin gets some uh, third person shots up here and whatnot. Well, off the first like five minutes of riding it, it pulls a lot better in that second and third. It doesn't even pop that bad. I thought it was gonna backfire a lot worse for how lean it was stock with the stock uh, tune on it or whatever you want to call it. But way better, sounds way better. Save yourself in the comments about my shorts, but uh, yeah, looks better, sounds better. It is, it's a Model T. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, we'll get some sound clips. Pretty much it. I mean, it sounds way, way better. I guess we'll go on a little cruise. There's the third person shots. Shout out to Justin behind the camera. And uh, yeah, I'm really stoked on it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I really, uh, maybe next video or in this video, I'll take out the spark arrestor just because and see how much louder that is. But we'll go from there. We'll go cruise around for a little bit and then we'll get some other shots of it. Well, let me know in the comments what you think. I don't think anybody's gonna complain. If I see a single thumbs down on this video, I'm gonna be very disappointed because there should be no reason for any thumbs down on this video whatsoever <laughs> so if you thumbs down this video you're yeah if you thumbs down this video you should just be watching like jake paul or something because this is not the channel for you <laughs> but yeah this thing looks so sick i can't get over it i don't know what else to say about it other than it sounds good makes the bike run better and now probably in another video um next week we'll put the tuner on we'll compare the two tuners and really get this thing running how it should so but for right now i just want to ride it have fun on it and if you don't have a tuner and you don't want to spend the money on a tuner as you've seen you don't need it it doesn't backfire too bad it honestly is perfectly fine the tuner is more going to give you the, the better response and power this gives you a lot more throttle response off the the hit and stuff the third gear pulls a little bit better well first gear you don't use but second third you can definitely tell a difference just from bolting the pipe on because that thing restricted it so much as you guys could tell. Justin wants to hear a flyby of the Harley.
for right now. We'll go right out in a little bit, but I'm so happy with this thing. A lot of heat on there. The whole pipe will be blue. It'll look so sweet. So we're going to go ahead and pull this spark arrestor out. All right, hopefully this thing comes out fairly easy. It's Honestly, I should wait because it's so hot. That probably is what it's for, the trails, because the X is kind of for the trails. Wait, turn Very it on. Impatient. Maybe it'll shoot out. Needle nose does the trick. No, it's literally just an insert. No, it's literally wide open. I think it's deeper. That's a lot louder. That hurts. After riding it for a while, I think it's too loud. It's so obnoxious. Like if you like loud, take it out, but it's so loud. Well, overall, I mean, honestly, like I said, if somebody's going for like super loud, people will definitely hear you with the insert out, that's for sure. They'll hear you with it in too, but if you just want obnoxious loud, this is the way to go. I don't know if it's for me though. But now I'm giving you guys a perspective. I'll put the spark restor in, in probably another video and show you how much that muffles it. I'm sure that's the main intended use for the X for most guys that are doing like trails and stuff. And when I want to be a little more discreet, um, this is definitely not the way to go because I'm trying to be low key and ride some trails. People will hear me from very far away. Well, that is a wrap. You guys can get a good understanding on the pipe. As all the future videos, I'll probably talk about it more. So if you want to check out the pipe, I'll leave it linked below in the description, straight to Yoshimira if you want to buy the exact same bike for a 450L. They pretty much offer a pipe for every single bike. so. If you want an aftermarket pipe for your bike, check out Yoshimir and uh, they'll get you hooked up. Here's also a better look, not on GoPro, um, with the tip out. Thing is literally straight through now. Probably gonna take it off and blue this up. It's gonna look a lot better. I'm sure it will. Looks so sick if this whole thing's blue, kind of like my uh, Kawi one over here, which if you can see down in there on this other side, which is pretty much all blued up the whole way. I was just too impatient and wanted to get this thing on there and ride it around and hear it. Also, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this one with the 450L, pit bikes, big bikes, e-bikes, everything like that, future build on this thing, make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends. If you want to see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow me on Instagram at Tyler Monaghan, where you can see everything go down before the video comes out. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.